Okay, YouTube, working on the 2018 GLC 43. The auto start stop feature, when you pull up to a red light and the engine shuts off, and then you lift off the brake and the engine starts back up again, doesn't work. And uh, I already replaced the auxiliary battery, also known as a voltage converter, that's under the passenger compartment. And uh, that's one of the common causes of that. And it did not fix the problem. So today we're gonna put a new battery in um, and we'll see if that, that takes care of it or not. And uh, so the battery is um, under the hood. It's under this compartment right here on the passenger side near the firewall. So uh, you simply, um, there's two little twist off uh, retainer clips. You just turn them 90 degrees. And then uh, this comes out. And then uh, the uh, air filter for the cabin is right here. And I already have it loose, but uh, basically there's a clip on either side. And you, let me get a light under there for you. There's, um, you just kind of push on the clip, push in on the clip, and then it, it comes off. So this, two clips, and this comes off, and it's, Probably a, a good time to uh, change that uh, cabin air filter while you have it off. So here's the battery. And uh, this little retaining piece comes off of the positive terminal. And what I am going to do is uh, put a trickle charger on this guy. Um, here's the uh, 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 place where you can hook up the positive and uh, where you can hook up the negative or actually I'm just going to put it to ground right here. So I've got ground, positive, and I'll plug the uh, trickle charger into the wall in a second and uh, that'll retain all the settings in the uh, computerized systems while, while I unhook the battery. To unhook the battery, it's very simple. You got a 10 millimeter on the negative side. I'll take that off first. 10 millimeter on the positive side. And then a uh, Torx 45 way down on the uh, bottom front of the battery holding a uh, bar that actually secures the battery in place. So I'm gonna unhook these two terminals and then take out the Torx 45 and and uh, this battery, you know, with these two handles should lift right out. This is the factory battery, about four years old. So let me go ahead and unhook that and I'll come back. Okay, I've got the Torx 45 down there um, loosened. And then it, the, the whole bracket, that plastic bracket that you see on either side of it, just slid back off the battery. So that's a really nice feature. Uh, I've got both terminals off. I'm gonna wrap this in some kind of insulating material and then get a rubber band and hold it out of the way. I don't want any of those touching ground. Well, I've got the battery eliminator on here and uh, I've got the negative terminal off and I'll tie that up out of the way and then I'll be able to lift this battery. And one more thing, uh, there was a there is a vent hose right here that just needs to to pop off the side of the battery on the top there. So uh, I'll get those terminals out of the way and then uh, lift the battery out. All right, this might be overkill, but I, I wrapped the positive in a, in a Ziploc baggie. And then I wrapped a wire around it just to hold it out of the way because I am working by myself here. So it's out of the way. I can lift the battery out now. And I'll be very careful not to knock this terminal off. Otherwise, I lose all my settings and all my computers and everything. 
Okay, got the battery back in. I've got the uh, Torx 45 tight. It was just a matter of um, pushing the bracket back over top the battery and tighten up the Torx 45. Got the positive terminal back on, the negative terminal back on. I do still have to plug in the um, vent tube, which I will do. And then uh, put the uh, cabin air filter back on, put the cover plate back on, and take it for a test drive. Don't do what I did. Uh, I had the battery in the trunk of this car, and with the battery unhooked, even with the um, trickle charger on, I was not able to open the trunk, nor was I able to open up or fold down the uh, rear seats. So I had to lift, go in the back, sit on the rear seat, lift the battery up over the rear seat and out through the back door. So take the battery out of the trunk before you start. Learn from my mistake. Okay, we're about to come to a stop. Let's see if the engine turns off. And it did. So it was a weak battery. The battery's four years old. Otherwise it was functioning properly. The car would always start right up, but uh, I guess it was a little on the weak side. The car detected it so it wouldn't auto shut off at a red light and restart when you lift your foot off the brake. So problem solved. Uh, hope this helps somebody. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.